So today is Vivica Fox's turn to get called out. It's you. You the problem. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Today is call them out where I call a specific person out and I lay out the reasons why I'm doing it. Either it's what they said, their behavior, or A, B, C, all of them. The last call them out I did was on Kanye West, episode 34. And I talked about how he ranted the whole Black History Month, how I felt about that, etc. That video will be in the description below. So make sure you check that out. And I also have a call them out playlist because we are 35 episodes in. This, along with Real Talk Tuesday, is series that I really enjoy doing. So make sure, along with Call Them Out, you check out Real Talk Tuesday. So today is Vivica Fox's turn to get called out. And by my first Kevin Samuels video, y'all will know slightly how I felt about the remarks that she made about Kevin Samuels' death. But... I didn't want to let her slide. I wanted to give her a personal video, you know what I'm saying, so that none of my feelings are left out. Along with Vivica, I will be calling out several women, several people that decided to slide over to my comment section being disrespectful. They gave very ignorant responses. I even told one that I will be using her as an example of people that Kevin Samuels tried to help, but they were unwilling to listen, very defensive, and the list goes on and on. I'm not letting nothing slide today. Let's get into it. I am calling out Miss, not Mrs., Vivica Fox for the very insensitive remarks she made about Kevin Samuel's death. They had words in the past. Their experience with each other wasn't a good one. And Miss Fox brought those feelings into 2022. Those feelings of anger came right back as she talked about his death. In so many words, she said that karma is real. Meaning in my head that she's saying that Kevin Samuels deserved to die. Her saying that struck a nerve in me because it's people out here that's not only disrespecting women, but physically harming women, killing women. It's men out here that really hate women. And men who really hate women don't take the time to speak to women with patience. In my research on Kevin Samuels, he really did hear a lot of these women out. He really did. And it shocked me that he had as much patience as he did in not only listening to what they had to say, but vocalizing his opinion and his view of it and not getting frustrated until he's had enough. In my eyes, men that hate women don't speak to women, they speak at women. A man that hates women will not take his time out to have conversations. The conversations with a person between a man and a woman and a man who hates women will not ever last long. It won't. It would be the man dictating what a woman should be, how she should act, and things to that nature. A man talks at a woman if he hates women. Just because a man tells you where you're going wrong after you ask doesn't make him misogynistic. It means that you can't digest what was just told to you. You either can't digest it or don't want to. And when a person doesn't want to take the advice or can't digest it, they start to label people stuff. Even if it was a woman telling you this, 
If scratch Kevin Samuels, right? It could be any other man of any other race telling you exactly what he told you and you label them the same thing. Misogynistic or an asshole. You would say things like, oh, he don't know what he's talking about. He don't know shit. Even if this advice was coming from a woman and another woman is not digesting it, they would say, oh, this was jealous of me. That was jealous of me. She was jealous. That's why she said that. No, you just didn't want to digest it. And it doesn't matter who it comes from. You didn't really want the advice that you was asking. And in getting a response that you didn't like, you're not going to want to digest it. And I'm going to make a whole video on what I'm about to say. But one thing that I'm definitely tired of coming from women, men do it too. But it's a lot of women that throw around words that they have no idea what the definition is. Don't say a person is misogynistic when their actions don't show that. If a man has patience enough to hear you out, no matter how ignorant, they're not misogynistic. And if you can't tell me the definition of misogyny, if you can't tell me the definition of narcissism, if you can't tell me the definition of the words that you labeling folks as, don't say the word. I honestly believe that Vivica Fox has put 50 Cent and Kevin Samuels in the same box when they nothing alike. Any man that has embarrassed her, told her off, broke her heart, emptied her bank account, she putting all of them in the same box. Even if we're not talking about 50 Cent and Kevin Samuels, she still put her ex-husband in the same box. And none of them are anything alike. Listen, you fucked with 50 Cent after he got shot nine times, okay? And he still dogged you out. He wasn't humble after he got shot. He was still talking, talking about people. He was like a troller before social media was even that big. But yet you still ran the risk of messing with him. Versus you having an unpleasant conversation with Kevin Samuels. That's actually your age. 50 Cent is almost 10 years her junior. And she thought that was going to work out, right? But the point is, that unpleasant conversation was nothing compared to 50 Cent publicly embarrassing you anytime he felt like it. And still do. Although 50 Cent has publicly embarrassed her for the whole world to see, she has never kept that same energy. Never kept that same energy with 50 Cent. And I want to know why. You ain't never said, oh, that guy 50 Cent should have got hit up a few more times and maybe he'd be humble. You ain't say shit like that. But in your mind, Kevin Samuels deserved to die. Okay. Okay. It's men out here or, you know, boys that's, that's supposed to be men or however you want to put that. It's motherfuckers out here that's selling crack, hand to kids. Where's the energy for that? Where's the energy for child molesters? Where's the energy for actual people that's out here harming people, killing people, shooting up schools, shooting up churches, killing kids, killing the elderly, all these hate crimes going on, and you going to say, Kevin Samuels deserve to die. A man of your age, you seem to not like men that's your age. Why? It don't work out with them. Well, it don't work out with the young ones either. Didn't work out with your ex-husband either. So what are we really talking about? 
Who's the real problem when you go back and forth, you 50, you messing with a 30-year-old? You, she was even younger than that, messing with 50 Cent, but he was still 10 years her junior. You mess with the younger, you mess with the older, and it's still not no everlasting relationship that we can ever tie you to. It's you. You the problem, but you don't want to hear that. Kevin Samuels is very pro, I'll tell you, Who's the problem? You're the problem. And he lays out the actual factuals. How in the fuck can you be mad about that? How? My whole point is have the right energy for the right person. Kevin Samuels could have helped Vivica understand why she's 57 years old, with no kids, one failed marriage, and also why she continues to pick horrible men. She said that her marriage ended with this R&B singer or something like that. It ended with him because she was paying all the bills and her mom didn't teach her to be the breadwinner. She taught her better than that. You know, you get a man that is a provider and what? You know, it's like, honestly, some women, they don't want to be the breadwinner and they don't want to be paying all the bills, but they still want to control everything too. But if you with somebody that is the breadwinner, you're going to have to be submissive to a certain degree. That's just how that shit go or it's never going to last. And I think that no matter who she get with, old or her age, it, she might have to go for somebody a little older, you know? Because well, apparently her mom didn't teach her to be the breadwinner, but she didn't teach her to be submissive either. What are you really looking for then? Are you looking for a man to be the breadwinner and you just be the arm candy, you know? And you got your own career and your own shit going on, but arm candy, you know, possible bit. Like, what do you want? Because if you want a man to be the breadwinner, you gonna have to relax on that bossy shit and i don't think she's pro that what are you really looking for you had 50 cent in his prime and you was in your prime too he definitely could be seen at that point as the breadwinner in y'all relationship and that still didn't work out and in her words it ended because they went public with their relationship too fast and honestly, that's not as descriptive as you should be. That could be a lot of different things could have happened as a result of y'all coming out too fast. What was it? You don't want to be descriptive here, but you want to say karma is real and Kevin Samuels deserve to die? Nah, man. Nah. And this is the prime example of letting small things in a relationship with the breadwinner disrupt and end the relationship versus you sticking in there with somebody that's broke, you paying all the bills in a marriage that lasted three or four years. You and 50 Cent ain't last three or four years and that's a breadwinner. So what do you really want? Do you want a broke man that you can potentially boss around for a certain amount of time and he's sticking in there it might be financial most of the way why he's sticking in there but he's sticking in there and you ended that relationship what do you really want who can you really keep a broke man and there's nothing wrong with that i'm not saying broke in a sense where he don't have nothing i'm saying broke like he don't have what you have Compared to Vivica, like, she was hot back in the day. She was on a lot of dope-ass movies. A man is going to have to be doing a lot to compare financially, career-wise, things like that. So, he probably wasn't broke, broke. But he wasn't popping financially like she was. Vivica was one of the top female actresses in the 90s and the early 2000s. Where exactly is she now? 
on a show with Lisa Ray. And as people describe Lisa Ray, she's one of the worst actresses from back in the day. And I'm not saying that. It's just something that a lot of people have said over the years. I don't really believe that. She not bad to me. You know what I'm saying? She not no bad actress like she can't act. But that's, that's the word, right? And I mean no disrespect, but they on a show that ain't nobody checking for that for real. Ain't nobody checking for it. It's with a lot of people that people is not checking for. I think it's a singer on there, and I'm familiar with her face, but she not doing a lot now. She doing that show, but she not doing a lot now. It's a lot of people that's not doing a lot now, you know? A, a lot career-wise now. My whole point is, due to Vivica botching her face with this plastic surgery, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it because I'm so disappointed. I mean, you talking about top tier, didn't need nothing. Didn't need a damn thing in her face, in her body, nothing. Didn't need and she her face over with this Botox and these cheeks and this and 57 she shouldn't look like that and I'm not shaming because I know that women go through a lot and body dysmorphia and insecurities can overpower you to make decisions that you shouldn't have made you know but the decisions that she's made as far as plastic surgery, the decisions that she's made as far as having this entitled attitude or attitude in general on these sets, and the decisions that she's made in picking men has gotten her to where she is now. And this is how it turns out, you know, she gives off a very bitter spirit. I would hate to be her age and have that type of spirit towards black men because certain black men have scorned me, you know? And I don't want nobody to ever feel like they had power over me t to a certain degree that I turn out that way, you know? Bitter, angry at the world, angry at every black man, giving off attitude that None of them deserve, but you wouldn't give off that same attitude to your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend. Doesn't make any sense. Have the right energy for the right people and folks will respect you more. Now, briefly, I will get into certain responses from people. So, Nia Tate said, girl, bye, right? And I said, see how far you get in life saying, girl, bye. Articulate your opinion or shut the hell up. Okay? That's what I said to Nia Tate. And that's what I mean. You, If you feel some type of way about what Kevin Samuels would say or what I'm saying, say how you feel. Girl, bye is not a proper response. Especially if you want somebody to hear you out. But she didn't respond and she knew better. So the last one, because it was only two, thank you so much, was Kiana DeRoe. Okay. She said, I don't know what spell this man has over you and people like you. But this man was not helping nor healing anybody. He was helping and healing people. It just so happened that the people that would get on there would be extremely defensive. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm not talking about everybody. But there was quite a few people up there that asked for advice that they wasn't ready for. Of course you can't heal a person that don't want to be healed. He put down many women who called in for advice. Well, maybe if you see the pattern of what you call disrespect, don't come up there. If you see that it's a pattern of shit that you don't like, what you think he just going to have favoritism towards you and not talk to you the same way? I don't get that.
Don't go up there calling in for advice. Don't call in for advice. If they didn't agree with him, he became sarcastic and put them down as if he had the rights to do so. People in life have a right to do things that they want to do. Okay? If we having a conversation and I want to be sarcastic, I will. Because I have the right to do that. You, you see how people try to say stuff and sound so smart? And it's like you, you're contradicting your own words. It's like a lot of y'all on this man D-tip to be relevant. Anybody that say D-tip, you so lame. You, you so lame to say I was on his dick. That's what you feel like? Just say that. Oh my God. He went in on Vivica for no reason at all. She's not the only one either. And now because he's dead, she should walk on eggshells on how she's on how she feels. Are you kidding me, child? Bye. And that's just like the girl bye. You still didn't say shit. Especially when you got to end it off with girl bye or child bye. You still didn't say shit. He went in on Vivica for no reason at all. I mean, do you know how sensitive this sounds? It sounds sensitive and even our response to Vivica. We saying, all right, she said what she said, but that shit was wrong. Y'all getting sensitive because we not on her side? Y'all getting sensitive because she get, got sensitive. The only ones that's sensitive in the mix is y'all. The only ones that's getting real riled up is y'all. Nobody should walk on eggshells about anything. But her saying that exposes a lot about her, just like you, Kiana Duro, saying what you say exposes a lot about you. You're not going to have no kids. And if you do, they're not going to end up liking you. You're not going to end up having no friends that you think it's everybody else but it's you. You're never going to be able to keep a long-lasting relationship. Just like Vivica. Anybody that can't be honest enough and say, you know, she shouldn't have said that. Like, that's... My thing is, being real, if you feel that way about somebody, like they deserve the hand they was dealt, that's how you feel. But don't say that shit... For the world to hear it don't say it because it's ignorant it's straight up ignorant even if i had issues with somebody they jumped me you know all this shit and years down the line or even a year down the line they end up dying i don't have shit to say i don't have nothing to say i ain't gonna say rest in piss i ain't gonna say none of that shit because you're not supposed to you're not supposed to, no, no, no. Because at the end of the day, I don't know where God decided to put them. If, if they put them in heaven, then rock on, God. You done did your job. And that's his fucking decision. I'm not going to say the person deserved to die. And I'm not going to say they deserve to go to hell or they go up with the angels. Because I don't have a right to do that. But y'all need to know. Who has a right to do what? And as the advice giver, Kevin, Kevin Samuels had the right to tell them exactly how he felt. As a, res as a response and as a result, the ones that have a problem with what he said anytime, they need the help the most and they didn't take it. Kiana DeRoe, you need help. Uh, Nia Tate, you need help. Vivica Fox, you need help. And that's just where I'll end it. Much love to everybody that watched the video, even the two that had some negative shit to say. You know? Even those two. Fuck them. You feel me? So, I will see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm gonna see y'all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.